v equals f lambda and p equals i squared r. v equals f lambda. Velocity of a wave in meters per second is equal to the frequency of the wave in hertz multiplied by the wavelength of the wave in meters. v equals f lambda. All waves have both a frequency, that is the number of waves being produced per second, and a wavelength, that is the distance in meters from one wave to the next. The velocity is these two values multiplied by each other. V equals F lambda. To make the frequency the subject of the equation, if you know the velocity and the wavelength, divide through by wavelength. That is, move the lambda under the V. V over lambda equals F. Velocity divided by wavelength equals frequency. V equals F lambda. To make the wavelength the subject of the equation, if you know the velocity and the frequency, divide through by frequency. That is, move the f under the v. v over f equals lambda. Velocity divided by frequency equals wavelength. v equals f lambda. p equals i squared r. Power in watts is equal to the square of the current in amps multiplied by resistance in ohms. p equals i squared r. If a current is flowing through a resistance, then the power being used is equal to the square of the current multiplied by the resistance. P equals I squared R. To make the resistance the subject of the equation, if you know the power and the current, divide through by the square of the current. That is, move the I squared under the P. P over I squared equals R. Power divided by the square of the current equals resistance. P equals I squared R. To make the current the subject of the equation, if you know the power and the resistance, first divide through by resistance, that is, move the R under the P. P over R equals I squared. Next, square root both sides of the equation, cancelling out the square on the right hand side. The square root of P over R equals I. The square root of power divided by resistance equals current. P equals I squared R. This lesson's equations were V equals F lambda and P equals I squared R. Please re-watch this video as many times as you need to to make sure you succeed in your physics GCSE and IGCSE.